Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Turning Music Into Money. I am your host, Double O. The name of this show is called Sell Me Your Business. But before we get into today's show, I'd like to give all my prayers out to all the flood victims, all the hurricane victims uh, throughout the South. Uh, Texas got hit hard. Florida, GA is being hit right now. So I'm really just blessed to have power and um, shelter. So i just like to say, everybody, man, stay safe out there in Atlanta, GA, man, and um, all throughout uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, everybody, man. Y'all just stay safe, stay prayed up, and um, weather the storm. It's um, definitely uh, a tragedy what's going on throughout the uh, United States. Um, moving on to the show, um, I'd like to give a huge shout-out to Miss Ruby. Miss um, Ruby gave me this platform of turning music into money. I'm so blessed to be able to have this platform. Uh, she seen something in me that I did not see in myself. And she wound up giving me the platform of uh, turning music into money on Legacy A100. I do my live shows on Facebook, and then I actually turn the video into audio. So that's why um, I like interaction um, throughout the show. That's why I go to Facebook and get the interaction, and then I send my shows to uh, LegacyA100.com. So check all my previous shows out there. Go to LegacyA100.com to check out everything. As you can see, if you're watching me on Facebook, you see I'm working on my setup. I just got my lights in. A uh, couple more weeks, I'll be having my banner in. I'm working on some things, you know. I'm working on some uh, some some big things. So just stay steady with me. I'm an independent artist uh, that does uh, managing, and also I do. Um, I'm an artist as well. So we'll get more into that in a minute. But I like for you guys and gals to check out my good friend Miss Maureen Guest every Thursday. Um, she does an indie artist exposed at 4720 Jonesboro Road. Um, it's incredible to go out there and network, go out there and meet new people, do your show, and um, get out there from 8 to 12 um, every Thursday, 4720 Jonesboro Road, Union City, Georgia. She also does a radio show every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 6 to 7 p.m., and uh, she's looking for artists to interview. She's looking for uh, more music, so definitely... Listen to the show. Go uh, get the tuning app. So if you're not in Atlanta, Georgia, that's no excuse. Get the tuning app and uh, type in W I G O, and that will actually take you to uh, where you need to um, listen to the show. And she'll give you all the information about her uh, shows. EmbodimentRadio.com. Um, that's M B O D Y M E N T R A D I O. Check it out, Embodiment Radio. Um, also, artists, I help artists get onto Pandora Radio. So if you're interested on in getting into Pandora Radio, shoot me a message on turning music into money um, at gmail.com, and I definitely will give you all the details if you're interested. If you know someone is interested, what is the benefit of being on Pandora? Well, you get paid for your music, and um, you get uh, your validation. So definitely holla at me. I have 29 songs currently in uh, placement right now, over 400,000 spins. So I'm very proud of that, and I'm very proud of everything that's going on. Um, Let's see what else we got here. Uh, if you're looking for my music, type in uh, double O. That's, I spell it two different ways on two different artists. That is D-O-U-B-L-E-O. -E That's on Pandora. Just type me in on Pandora. Or type me in under D-U-B-B-U-L-L-O-H. So you can find me there if you're looking for my music. Please check me out. Let me know what you think. And, and check out one of the 29 songs that I do have. Um, I know that a lot of people won't be tuning in today because people are really lacking power. But don't worry. You guys will catch this later. And um, also, like I said, you can go to Legacy A100 and check out the whole show. Without any further ado, i like to bring on my special guest, Swami Beats from Fanbase.com. My brother, how are you doing? Thank you for... Yes, yes, yes. Hey, man, it's a pleasure to have you here, my brother. So so you are a producer, correct? Uh, well, uh, I am what they call um, now since I was uh, doing to my Swami shit. I am what they call an artist and entertainment resource. Okay. The uh, roots of a super producer, man. I've always been a super producer, so, um, you know, that's where I come from, super producer. Okay, okay. A super producer. I like that. I like the sounds of that. When did you start? When did you start producing? Um, well, we can 
could say about the age of 16, which was many years further, many years back. Okay. Around 16 years old, I started producing. 16, 16, and that would be how many years ago? Uh, well, without dropping any clues, this is more than 10 years. Okay. Pinning it right on the heads. Okay. Okay. So, um, as far as producing, like when you when you do production, you still you're still a producer, correct? Right now. As currently, yes. Okay. So when you when you're doing production, do you uh like to build with the artists or do you like to just send out beats? Like how what's your production style? Uh, my production style is definitely one of um building with the artists. You know, I would like to have a beat session with an artist. You know, if you're getting a swami beat, then you need to feel the swami energy. So mm -hmm. it's definitely the one on one time. Like, you know, I'll come to your, your location where we're going to make this happen. But from scratch, and uh, it's definitely one on one with the artist. I don't do the sending out beat thing. Really? Just for some promo. Yeah, for some promo. And, um, you know, definitely for sale in a few places. But uh, just for the send out beats. You know, it's about business, man. That's what we're doing. It's the music business. Got you. So you out of Hampton, Virginia, correct? Hampton, VA. Absolutely. 757. Born in Hampton, Virginia. Yes, sir. I like that. Yeah, born, born and raised. Yes, sir. You know the home girl. Okay. Okay. I heard that, man. So let me let me ask you. You have a company called Fanbase.com, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, what inspired you to start your company? Uh, what inspired me to start my company, uh, honestly, was I determined many years ago, maybe about five years ago, and I determined that the one thing, main thing to me necessary uh, to have success in mainly any industry is your popularity and the number of stats you touch of people, you know, the number of faces you get in front, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's what inspired me, which I equated to a fan. Okay. You know, I equated different pupils or different opportunities to sell or not sell or listen or not listen. I equated them to fans. Mm -hmm. So that inspired fan base because uh, that's really the foundation of everything, man. Got you, got you. The fan is the is the is the foundation of the business, correct? The fan is the foundation of the business. Got you, got you. So let me let's let's define fanbase.com as far as what it is. Is it a streaming service? What is it? It is a school of thought, uh, you know, to say the least. It's a uh, music industry school of thought. It's a uh, resource website for artists and fans. Okay. Okay, now break that down. A resource website. What what kind of resources can be found on fanbase.com, could you spell it F A N N B A S S dot com? Absolutely, and that's just from my uh, you know years of experience of a super producer. I get that a lot, man. Regarding the name and why I spell it that way, mm -hmm. you know, they say it sounds like fan bass mm -hmm. or what have you. But you know, bass is the low tone, mm -hmm. and um, you know, being a producer, you know, you're seeing bass all day. So of course, that's bass. Got you. Damn, you know, um, yeah. but basically it's a resource website. Um, it's an opportunity for fans or music lovers or listeners or just, uh, you know, spectators from afar. It's a, it's a chance, opportunity for them to learn how they can earn an income from selling music. You don't have to be the creator, uh, but it's an opportunity for you to learn how you could create income through selling music. Mm -hmm. You also have the opportunity to sell music, and you also be hand in hand with your favorite artists or bands and helping them get paid while you get a percentage of that. We're gonna have to break all of that down. We're gonna have okay. to break all of that down because now it's an information site for fans and artists, correct? Absolutely. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now, just briefly, how? Not briefly, but how do? artists and fans go about getting this information? Well, when you sign up, of course, uh, I see your starter package, which uh, includes a syllabus and starter material for you to kind of get you started on what we want to start uh, having webinars and seminars about online. So what they're doing is they sign up for a subscription. We're doing a soft launch right now. Mm -hmm. uh, 
we're going full throttle come October where classes will begin. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, you go straight to the site, man. Connection tells you where to sign up and how to sign up. Okay. Okay. Now, how long have you been in existence? I've been in existence for 10 plus years. As far as fanbase.com? Fanbase.com has been up and running for just a month now. We're doing a soft roll. Okay. Uh, I've been working on plans since the beginning of this year. Okay. So we just decided to go ahead and soft launch it and see what's going on. How many how many people are involved with the with, with fanbase.com? There's a few partners. There's a few partners. Okay, now do they do they help out with um giving out the instruction or the, the, the syllabus? Like what what are their roles? Well theoretically, you know, what I'm teaching on the website is everybody play a part, you know, the fan or the artist, it doesn't really matter what side you're on. You can get paid from both sides, mm-hmm. and we actually need both sides. Mm, mm. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna dig into this because to me, this is a fairly new concept. Uh, is it or is it, is it not? It is very fairly new, um, but it's not also new. I've seen, you know, I've seen some replicas and some uh, some formats, some ground layers, you know. But I've also seen the flaws and seen where I can capitalize and fix these flaws. Okay, okay. I like the sounds of that, man. Because you also sell apparel on your website, correct? We do have apparel because uh, it's CEO life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you don't have to be in the music business to be a CEO, of course. So mm-hmm. we have uh, sweatshirts for cold offices and the weather's going to really change. We have mugs, you know, when you're sipping your coffee, reading your paper. Mm-hmm. And um, it's CEO life, man. You know, you're always working. Got gotcha. you. Always working. Got you, got you. So let me ask you: Is the business correct? I mean, I know you've just been in existence as fanbase.com for uh, a, a month now. Is the company currently incorporated? The company is an LLC. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Power, Power Play is LLC. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm a sole proprietor. Okay, I got that. I like that. I like that because the reason why I mentioned that also, I made up um, the last show I just did was with uh, Miss Nicole Turner, the Innovator Butterfly. And um, she does, like, contracts. She does, um, you know, um, copyright, trademarking, all of that stuff for artists. And uh, I actually just partnered with her so that um, I can sell, help sell her services to artists. And um, if anybody's interested, they can go to uh, Book Nicole, uh, and that is spelled um, N-E-C-O-L-E. That's Nicole. That's how she spells it, Book Nicole at InnovatorButterfly.com if you're looking for any of our services. Um, so the reason why you want to be incorporated as a business, um, because the owners is three, is, is, is just, I'm going to give you three reasons why. The owners are protected from personal liability, um, from company debts and obligations. Um, that's one reason. Corporations can make, can raise capital much easier. And corporations have an unlimited lifespan. So that's why you want to definitely check in with Miss Turner and see what she has. But I'm glad you have taken the step to get incorporated, man, and, and, and become an LLC, man. I'm very proud of you, my brother. Oh, appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. You. Yes, sir. Now, does the company um, offer anything for producers? Uh, I actually do on the front page. Uh, what we have is the music plug kit. Mm-hmm. Uh, currently... Uh, it's going for one hundred and fifty dollars mm-hmm. uh, straight through PayPal. You get the direct link, and what it is is, man, it's uh, really everything you need, man. I, I, you know, I, to say the least, it's everything you need to get started. And I'm gonna say a little bit more to start it because I made a lot of money off of these kits and the the package that I'm gonna give you. Uh, the package that I'm gonna give you is one gig worth of software and uh, updated drum kits. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 2016 and 2017 drum kits and software that you need. So we're talking one gig of that, man. It's um the split between software and kits. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so those who don't, you know, have the software to look in auto-tune, sonars, all that good stuff, personas, we mm-hmm. got that in a kit. So along with that, the music plug kit, you get the uh, beats, the, so- the uh, production uh, equipment and software. Mm-hmm. You also get the mega list of contracts that's needed for artists and record labels. Uh, it's about 
50 contracts in the package of, art, of the artists and record labels. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really just so you can be on top of your game, man. Even if you're an artist, you want to have your own contract. And I'll teach that as well on the website um, mm -hmm. to have your own paperwork as well. I mean, you can always counteract and exchange agreements. So we have contracts, we have the software and the kits, and we had the master contact list. It's over a hundred updated artist contact lists up in 2016 and 17. And that's artists as Young Thug, Ludacris, uh, Flipper the Skipper, uh, you know, Skipper the Flipper. Uh -huh. There's a lot of artists. And um, so it's a hundred of them. Mm -hmm. You got contracts and you got a software off $150. It's called the Music Plug Kit. It's on my, my first page of the website. Got you. Got you. So when when you send out music to um, major artists or anybody like that, what is your suggestion for for producers um, if they if they buy the kit and how how would you suggest that they send it um, their music to them? Well, that's an excellent question that I do appreciate asking because if I could inform the world, this would be a nice opportunity. But there is a format that you should send these things and um this is what i teach you know we subscribe but there's a direct format one being it has to be an attention grabber i mean i don't i don't know how many times you have scrolled through your email and just kept scrolling because of the headline the mm -hmm. tagline that's right there so part of the format is having a proper headline at the top which you'll you know which you'll learn uh through this through the lessons exactly exactly so about how long would it take someone to learn, like a producer? We're just going to stick to produce, producers right now. Okay. How long would it take a producer to learn these things that they need to learn in order to actually put it into uh, into play? Well, it depends. It depends on you. It depends on your work ethic. Um, the schooling never ends. I mean, it's, it's really a year-long subscription for the artists once you sign up. The artists get a year-long schooling. As well as the fans, you know, the schooling is never going to stop. Mm -hmm. When you subscribe, the school is never going to stop. The opportunities will never stop. The media, the content, the music would never stop flowing to your inbox. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So your inbox will be flooded with fan base material, job offers, bookings, gigs, paid shows. Mm. So, exactly. So and this is across the United States. Um, it's across the United States, but actually, uh, my brother is worldwide. Okay. Right now, we are partnered. We have partners, uh, some fans over in Russia. Mm -hmm. we, just, we just expanded over in uh, Turkey mm -hmm. and a few other places. India. I mean, we're worldwide. Of course, the U.S. I'm, I'm American, so you know, of course, we're gonna have the U.S. on Smash. But across the United States and mainly worldwide, um, and that's what we teach on fan base because we're talking about you know, something point billion people in the whole world. Why just stick with the something million that's in America? I know it sounds easy, but it's easier to spray the, the holes, you know, a whole garden opposed to just wasting all the water on one flower. Exactly. Exactly. I like that. So, um, you, you are hands on with the artist or hands on with the, the fan, or do you just send the material? How, how available are you to, kind of help along with the process i'm hands-on with uh student artists mainly okay all right the, the student fans will learn and they, they have opportunity because the thing is this we all got to work together so you know being as though uh we're all under the same school of thought which is fanbase.com mm -hmm. the fans will learn that they have to work with their fellow artists of the site and the artists will learn that they have to work with their fellow fans. Got you. Got you. Bringing everyone, yeah. to, bringing everyone together. It has to be that way. And this is just lack of knowledge that, you know, we don't really know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of uh, unsigned artists. And I like, to, I like to say unsigned artists mm -hmm. slash unpaid artists. I like to say that. Okay. Because um, it's just lack of knowledge, lack of information, and, and I'm on a mission, man, to really just kind of balance out the pay. We need to balance out the pay. Fans right. need to be able to earn from their contributions from making this artist a star. So let's let's get into that right there. Do you do you actually think the fans are interested of getting to get paid from uh, selling music? Um, the reason why I say yes is the simple fact that. Um, Pandora does not pay you for listening. Correct. 
So why not get paid for something that you do on a regular? <clears throat> well, I totally agree with this, but I find that a lot of people, once it turns into a money thing, then it, it, it turns into a, a job for them. And that's it. We're building business owners every day. Exactly. This is a business. This is a business at ease. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I mean, the thing to me, uh, just looking at the, the, the model, the business model of it, I just think a lot of customer education has to be done. Okay, um, I mean, you know, we have things out here, and we'll touch up on the site, and, you know, we'll, we'll add some more tutorials, let you know exactly how, as a fan or a music listener or a customer, you can get paid, but the, the simple mathematics is, you know, enjoying the fan, I mean, enjoying the artists and mm -hmm. the bands that you like, and mm -hmm. getting paid for that, also getting exclusive perks, mm -hmm. content, I mean, you're getting, you know... It's, 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 it's being involved in the, in the music industry, you mm -hmm. know, being involved in the music industry at ease. People, you know, people are looking for outlets. They're looking for self-starting businesses. Mm -hmm. And to me, this is a business that you can work honestly from your cell phone. You can work it from your cell phone, man. Just listening to music, sharing music and sharing the word, spreading the word. You know, I'll you teach you how to sell it. You know, you did a, um, customer education piece when you have a, uh, downloaded um, MP3 that people can get on your website, and you're exactly. basically talking to them and telling them um, what you plan on doing and 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 the 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 parts of the business and, and stuff like that. So I like that. I just think um, you know I'm interested to find out what else is in the works for the customer education part because I think um, that's the that's the lane that we're in now as far as if we educate the, the the consumer and if we educate more people then we will be able to create more uh business opportunities absolutely um you know education you know each one teach one and i will continue to uh give tokens on the website and even tonight you know i'm you know i'm dropping tokens i'm prepared to drop more but i'm gonna continue to drop tokens but i need i need to know that two things two things tell me when a fan signed up to be a fan or an artist signed up to be an artist mm -hmm. <clears throat> two things tell me that one you're looking you're serious mm -hmm. all right because you invested in your own money into yourself all right, and you're looking to work for yourself. You're looking to start up your own business. So that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking for fans who enjoy music and is looking to start their own business. I'm looking for artists who are artists and looking to grow their artistry and become professional. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting paid for it, then it's a hobby. Exactly. Exactly. So what is who's who's the business model mainly after? Is it is it after the artists or is it after the fans? Who are you targeting? Who's the who's the main target market? My target market is going to be your artist because uh, you know it's about building your fan base. So it's about it's about educating artists mainly on building a fan base. But I give the fans who loves music, I give them an opportunity where they can stay in tune, get exclusive links, get exclusives, and also earn a, a slick dividend. From just supporting and loving the music that they already love. Exactly. So this is what you what you're asking the fans to sell and and, and stuff is just straight independent music, correct? Absolutely. Got you. Got you. Unsigned artists. Got you. Unsigned artists. So because if if you were to get into other music, you would have to pay for the licensing fees and all that other kind of stuff, correct? Correct, my friend, and uh, I kind of feel like you know you you probably you're probably a, a junior man or a senior man. You' about ready to graduate, man. By the way, you talk. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, right? <laughs> right here and now. Oh man, you're a funny guy, man. You're a real well, funny absolutely. guy. Absolutely, unsigned artists. It's definitely this is an unsigned artist thing, man. You know, we're going worldwide with it. Okay, okay. Now listen. What we want to do is right now, because I, I think we're running out of time, we're going to do a second show with this because I really I really have more questions. And um, what, I, what I want you to do now is kind of give um, the audience uh, how to get in contact with you, how to get to um, fanbase.com and um, tell them what you want to say right now. And then we'll end this show and start another one. Okay. Uh, how, how 
how how's the world doing? It's uh, Swami Beats out of MPBA. I'm so excited today to introduce to you the new website launch, fanbase.com. Uh, it's where artists are going to build their fan base worldwide, <laughs> get paid for it, get schooling, get booked shows, paid gigs. We also have opportunity for the fans to earn while they listen to their favorite bands and artists. Uh, fanbase.com is spelled F-A-N-N-B-A-S-S. And if you're on Instagram, I sell music. That's me. I will teach you the music business. How can they get in contact with you, uh, Swami? Uh, you can go ahead and shoot me an email at Swami Beats E-N-T. That's Swami Beats with an S-E-N-T at gmail.com. And you can always reach out to me on Instagram, I sell music, or just hit the website, fanbase.com, listen to the free music, get the free download. Okay. This has been part one of Sell Me Your Business on Turning Music Into Money with Swami Beats. Um, we're going to get right back into it after this break. And um, fanbase.com, check it out right now. Tell me what you guys think. We, he needs artists to join. He needs fans to join. And what is the cost for artists and, and what is the cost for a fan? Uh, right now, we got the deal going on. The fans can sign up for nine ninety nine as a student fan, mm -hmm. and the artist can sign up as a student artist for fifty dollars mm -hmm. annually. That's one year, one time payment for fifty dollars for an artist. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, with the artist get with that is nonstop radio spend, nonstop promo promotion, uh, nonstop inbox the book gigs, shows in the area that they can go to. Uh, and not to mention the leagues, worldwide promotion for the artist, $50 one-time fee. We're going to touch back on the nonstop radio spins and all that good stuff in part two. Right now, we're just going to take a break, and I will start up part two momentarily. But for the people that's listening on the radio, you got to tune in next week. This has been Turning Music Into Money. Sell Me Your Business with your host, Double O. Peace.